Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about three tickers, F-U-B-O, P-L-U-G, and G-S-A-T. And let's get right off to the races. Fubo TV. Everybody's probably familiar with this company right now, at least in the trading world. And it seems to me like they got a real big deal today, which is the online sports betting. I think this is a big deal because of COVID. People aren't able to go out and play anymore. So that can stay home and do their gambling. I know people that make money gambling, just gambling. And we gamble every day when we're here trading stocks. So yeah, they bought this Vigotry deal, fuels online sports betting plans. So it's another thing for their repertoire. And I think this is going to be a really good catalyst for this to keep running up to new resistance levels. So let's go ahead and pull up the chart. We'll go ahead and pull up the 20 day because that's what I'm going to go off of. That's when we had this big run up here and had that huge pullback. She kind of went sideways and kind of squeezed out into a flag. As you can see right here, a little pennant, uh, inverse uh, symmetrical flag. And then we had the big breakout today. So I'm kind of looking at this stock and I'm thinking that we had to break a resistance level right here at the 3678 level. I'm going to magnify this up. Right now we're at 3617. So let me pull this back, magnify it up a little bit. These are the levels that we're going to be looking at. As you could tell on that 20-day chart, we had a high up here right around 62.21. That's where I counted in a way. We have a long ways to go if this thing keep running, if the momentum continues. So it, And I think that hard resistance is going to be right here at 41.57. But for right now, this is what we're going to be looking at. Three support levels. 3317 for a strong buy, 3461, and at 3557 for your first support if she decides to pull back. We could pull back in between this channel right here. The resistance to break is going to be this 3685, 3772, and 3885. Now you're willing to stop this video at any time if you want and write these numbers down. 4045 and then strong resistance at 4157. I like this trade. I think we can play it in continuation. But always remember, Friday is always a different kind of day. So if you're up, take your money. But any kind of pullback, I think it's going to be a strong buy. And the next one we're going to be looking at is plug. Building a clean hydrogen economy. Well, they got a big deal today. And they'll be going to be working with Renault. And they're saying that the deal is validating, so that validating is a big word, and I think they're going to be injecting $1.5 billion into this deal, and plug is, can run. Plug can go a lot higher. I think I got a target on plug to 75 and then to 100 bucks. but for right now, we're going to look at the chart, but I'm very impressed with this news alone, and I think it's something that you want to go ahead and check out. If you, all you got to do is Google plug, and you can read the article. So let's go straight into the chart. Plug. Very excited about this trade today, and there are some very good calls made on this trade that I'm going to show you here in a second. Let's go ahead and show it to you now before we get, get into this thing here. This call was made today. $60 call was alert at $175, and we had a high of $775. That was a beautiful call that Miss Vegas made in the room. $60 strike, January 15, 231. I expect it to rebound, you know, as, as the money flow is strong, as, as she said. And then the second trade is this one right down here. Plug $50 call that was made on the 7th. We found out today that it all ran all the way to $1,620, high of day. Over a 1,000% gain. Ain't that pretty? I love it. Great call by Miss Vegas. So let's go ahead and look at the chart here. Let's see what this says here. Oh, that's GSAT. We'll talk about that one a little bit later. So let's go ahead and pull up the chart and see where we can take this stock to. Definitely got a target up here to 75 bucks. And if we can break that 75, we'll go to 100. Now the support levels, to keep it in the range, no lower than this, I'd say 65.95 for your first one. But I want to pull this up on a daily one minute kind of look this over again 
yeah I think we can pull back to this number right here at 6515 we got another one right here this is just a beautiful run and I think any kind of pullback is going to be a strong buy I don't see want to see it go any lower than this 6520 area 6515 that's going to be a strong buy your first third support is going to be right here at 6595 the second one's going to be right here at 6742 with that first support right down here at 6850 now if this 6959 holds we can run it back up and break resistance level of right around 7172 and take it up to that $75 mark that's going to be plug I'm excited about this trade I'm excited about the future of this company we are changing a lot of the catalyst is the new administration coming in is making these stocks run plus I'm very strong into the EV car sector and always remember that I've called this bullish about three months ago four months ago now and you need to have your real nice EV car watch list so the strong buy on plug again is going to be 65 15 if she decides to pull back strong if not you got your three support levels right here with a resistance to break at 71 72 to 75 dollars and that was a great call miss vegas did in the room today we had the 60 dollar strikes and the 50 50 dollar call strikes so we asked the room to go ahead and take some profit and move it out into next week and that's probably what would be the best thing to do is take that profit and then wait for the little pullback which we did right here we had a nice little breakout after hours too so if they got into the trade for next week or even woke up this tomorrow morning with these trades I think they're going to be up so the next one we're going to look at is going to be GSAT let me go ahead and put this up pull up the it's a global star satellite technology very interesting stock this is a penny play and I think the news on it that I found a while back let me see if this had some more news here too no that was just the saddle that was just the uh, website so the news that I found on it last week on the 8th GSAC stock alert why is this satellite play global star rocketing higher today because they had made a deal with NICOA and I think that was a good catalyst for their cloud deal and to make this stock run into what it was today so let's go ahead and look at the chart this is a penny stock it's gonna have a lot of interest it's not a small float by no means but she did have a nice little run now these resistance levels go back for me four years ago and we hit every one of them so she's on a four-year breakout finally starting to break out and we hit one of my resistance levels that I called out in the room at 107 and this come back on a let me just pull up the three-year chart as you can see we have a good little resistance level on three years up here at 129 so support solid support is going to be right down here and I'm going to adjust this just a little bit it's really strong supports is 68 50 area but she might just barely squeak by to that 72 cents if she pulls back to 72 this could be a strong buy the second support is going to be right down here right around the 58 if that doesn't hold 58 maybe 59 but we're just we'll just call it even here at 62 62 cents so we got 62 and 72 for the low supports and your first one's going to be right here at the 50% pullback on the three year at 80, 80 cents, 81. And then resistances to break is going to be this 95, which we did. And we ran her all the way up to this 107 something. So she has pulled back and we'll pull up the 20 day here. See if we find anything on the 20 day right there. So we're going to kind of adjust. I'm going to pull up the daily. I'm going to take a whole different look at it when I, the time frames that I change. So I think the low support is going to hold right here, right around the 71. If I was going to get into the trade, I'd 
see if that pulled back to that 71. If not, we've got this 80 cents, 81, and we've got this 87. Those are the three support levels. Resistance to break after hours is going to be this 95. Uh, 9971 to that 107. And then long, we'll go back to this three year. 119 and then that 129. And that's going to be GSAT. Low support, no lower than this 68. 72 area. I'd like to see that hold. If not, we'll pull back to this 62. And resistance to break now is going to be this 94. And we did get up to 107. So 107, 120, and then that 129 area. And that's GSAT. And that's it for today, these three tickers. Keep them all three on watch. And there's a couple more that go with it, like F-Cell. I'd be watching F-Cell. It had a nice run today, too. So let's go ahead and close her down. We'll see you all in the morning. Always remember, I love stocks. You can always pull up this little Twitter bird. Follow us on Twitter. If you're not in the room, we're posting alerts in here at all times. I also have a Twitter account. And we also, um, let me see if I can... Yeah, we'll just go back to the website. We also have stock twits. I post alerts in here quite a bit. Today, Dash, I called the pullback on it, a put. It ran up to about 1100 bucks. Called it out at 785. Also called out Facebook is a bear. You know, I'm not happy with Facebook. So that's that. Also, we got Vista Vegas' stock twits on here. She's posting an alert in here. Remember we talked about Tiger last Saturday? Always join my Saturday sessions if you like. They're two hours long. Talk about stocks, and I have some kind of small little lesson to go along with it. Always remember, I love stocks. and Please subscribe. Ring that bell for future updates. And hit that like button.